Whoa, so much info right there. We'll unpack these students' arguments in a bit, but first, let's get back to the penny basics. Like, way back to the very first American one-cent coin, minted in 1793. The Founding Fathers knew that in order for the new nation to survive, the nation needed its own monetary system. So the first United States Mint opened in Philadelphia in 1792, and it opened here because Philadelphia was the capital of the United States in 1792. The workers at that U.S. Mint worked six days a week. They had to come in at five or six in the morning, and they worked until about seven o'clock each evening. And it took the employees at the first U.S. Mint about three years to make one million coins. We can make one million coins in 20 minutes today. So to make a coin, of course, it all starts with the art department. And once a coin is designed, the engraver brings his design to life by using modeling clay. And some of our artists actually sculpt on their computer screens as well. Phoebe sculpts in clay and plaster. She's a master craftsperson at that. There's Renata who sculpts in clay and plaster, or sometimes directly in software. And I work exclusively digitally. I was the first person hired by the Mint to sculpt digitally, full time. They made me do traditional coins for a year to test me out. Mm -hmm. And then they finally let me, this is back in 2006, they didn't believe it would work. If this is like the real, you know, if the, the coin was this deep in real life, it, you, can, you, know, you can only make the artwork like this high. We're talking like 60, 60 50 thousandths, it's like nothing. So, but the advantage that I have digitally is I can blow that up and bring it up so it looks really big. And it's pretty cool because, you know, when I tell people what I do, I just say like, yeah, my initials are on the penny. I mean, I was just assigned, it was just given the gig. But I get to tell people my initials are on the penny. I didn't design it, but I sculpted it, so. Once the artist model is complete, we scan it. And then all of that digital information is sent to a CNC machine. The CNC machine takes that digital information, shrinks it down to coin size, and cuts the artist's design into a piece of steel. And we call that cylinder of steel a hub, H-U-B. The hub looks exactly like the artist's model. It's positive, and it has all of the details that the artist put into his design, except now it's coin size. From that hub, we can't strike a coin because the coin would then have a negative image on it. So we take the master hub and we squeeze it into another cylinder of steel and we create a die, D-I-E. And a die has a negative impression of the coin design on it. The coining press has two dies in it, one for the heads and one for the tails, the obverse and reverse. And then a blank, a coinage blank, is fed in between the dies. And then with one strike, the heads and tails design is placed onto the blank, creating an American coin. For the Lincoln cent, it takes about 35 to 40 tons to transfer the designs onto the blank, creating a coin. And each coining press can make 12 coins every second. So that's about 750 coins per minute per coining press. <laughs> 